at the water's edge, a dazed brown pelican, Louisiana's state bird, dripped with oil. A few feet away, this green herring was dying, suffocating in oil. And on East Grand Terre, a barrier island, Governor Bobby Jindal was furious. In these birds' struggle, he saw coastal Louisiana's new reality. Looks pretty helpless. Well, you know, this, this is not only heartbreaking, but, it, but it, it ticks us off. You see, again, you see these birds trapped in the soil. This shows you what's at risk along our coast. When you get a sense of the thickness of this crude, you also start to understand something else why this pelican never stood a chance, and why so many other birds are now at risk as this oil keeps coming ashore. Waves of spilled crude have smeared more than 140 miles of Louisiana coastline. On the seabed floor, BP's giant shears sliced the broken pipeline from the gushing well. But the cut was jagged, yet another disappointment. We're going to have to see as we uh, put the containment cap on uh, exactly how effective it is. The containment cap is BP's next step. Put it over the gushing wellhead, then siphon oil to a surface ship. The risk? Cutting the pipe could release another 100,000 gallons a day. The Gulf spill is a tragedy that never should have happened. To fight the spreading stain on the BP brand, BP the company has begun a national PR campaign. BP will be here for a very long time. We recognize that this is just the beginning. But many Louisianans are incensed at BP, especially a recent no comment by its CEO. You know, I'd like my life back. Hayward so apologized, but Jindal is not over it. You know, he wants to get back to his way of life. I'm pretty sure that brown pelican wants to get back to her way of life. The more Governor Jindal looked at those oily birds and talked about those oily birds, the more angry he became. New images he'll have in mind tomorrow when he escorts President Obama around this island. Katie? And Mark, what is happening to those birds? Can they be saved? The hope is they can be, Katie. The governor's people called state wildlife officials that came by boat. They ended up removing 15 pelicans and four seagulls. No word yet on how many of those birds will survive, but I'll tell you, Katie, the birds that we all saw in that video were in very, very rough shape. Mark Strassman reporting from Grand Isle, Louisiana tonight.